Wolverhampton Wanderers added another point to their Premier League tally on Sunday when they played out a 1-1 draw with rivals Aston Villa at Molineux, the final outing before the next international break. Wang Yichun scored his sixth goal of the season, five of them coming in the Premier League, with 12 minutes added on at the end, such was the quantity of stoppages Molyneux saw over the course of the second half, Villa ended the game the stronger of the two teams and Ali Watkins rattled the side netting from an awkward angle. John McGinn then teed up Douglas Louise in the box, but Wolves' bodies were thrown in the way. Here are the things you might have missed from Molyneux, there had to be a bit of fire in the belly, didn't there? It's a derby, of sorts after all. With 14 minutes played after the regular 90, two more than were initially added by the fourth official, Gary O'Neill wasn't best pleased. There had been the red card for Lamina, Varchek's for violent conduct and niggly fouls which disrupted the general flow of the game, plus six substitutions. O'Neill, clearly irritated by the continuation of play with Villa piling on the pressure in the closing stages, took umbrage with the fourth official and, in the midst of it all, missed the hand offered by Unai Emery who, having withdrawn his hand, made for the tunnel. O'Neill recalled the Spaniard, words were exchanged and Emery eventually did disappear back towards the Villa dressing room, having been seen off by Wolves coach Sean Derry. Both managers in their respective press conferences played it down as a heat of the moment exchange which had no underlying rift besides a bit of derby day needle. As you were, gentlemen, friendly your face. While it might have soured after the final whistle between the two managers, there was the much warmer sight of Neil Cutler embracing a number of Villa players at halftime. The Wolves goalkeeping coach, once a Villa during the days of Dean Smith and Steven Gerrard, still knows plenty of faces in the Villa squad from his spell looking after the Villa keepers. A host of Villa players, including Esri Kansa and Diego Carlos, were greeted to Cutler as they made their way towards the tunnel at the break for a fond exchange. Taking a keen interest. Nasef Sairis was once again in attendance at Molyneux. The majority owner of Villa attends games regularly and has done since the installation of Emery as Steven Gerrard's replacement back in November of last year. The Egyptian was spotted sitting in a box here alongside his compatriot and Villa favourite Ahmed El Mohamedi, whose recent role as a club ambassador has been made a permanent arrangement. In these times, when football ownership can often be a faceless situation depending on the club, it's heartening to see Cyrus continuing to take such a keen interest. No holding back. The exchanges of words from both sides of this Derby Day fence had actually begun earlier in the afternoon when Emery, incidentally, was looking to keep the peace and calm down tempers. Towards the end of the first half, Villa captain McGinn and Wolves coach Derry were seen giving each other verbals from either side of the touchline after the Villa midfielder had been given a free kick in the shadow of the Billy Wright stand. The captain of Villa and a Scotland international who hails from Glasgow, versus a former defensive midfielder of 650 career appearances whose Wikipedia page reads known for his hard tackling and aggressive midfield style. Yeah, neither of those were backing down in the heat of the moment, yellow peril. As with any match involving two local rivals, yellow cards were likely. There were six here dished out to players on the field, two of them to Lamina in the second half and also one to a member of Villa's backroom staff. Although we couldn't be exactly sure of who was on the receiving end of the caution dished out to Rob Jones when he made his way over to the Villa technical area and went for his pocket, it wasn't for Emery. It's believed that the yellow might have been delivered to Moises de Hoyo, the Lions strength and conditioning coach, though that hasn't been confirmed. Thanks for watching the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.